Checking the hair, checking the hair. Always this messy <laughs> hair. And my ears are sticking out. We're at Molly Hugger Hill. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to Southern Hike. I'm Taylor. I'm Rachel. <laughs> and today we are hiking the Big Poplar Loop at FDR State Park here in Georgia. This is a local park to us. If you've seen a few of our other videos, we go here a lot. This is a good, quick, easy place for us to go to if we just want to get in the woods and hike. It's a total of 23 miles, and this is one of our favorite loops to do here. It's right over eight miles. There's a lot of water to see, a lot of incline, um, small amount of switchbacks, but not too bad, but it definitely has a lot of incline. But today's a little bit different. We're actually also going to test our backpacks for a trip we're doing do on the CDT loop at Rocky Mountain National Park next week in Colorado and yes we will have videos for that also so today we're gonna go we've already packed all our gear for it and we're actually gonna carry it around this loop today there's a lot more incline and we're gonna go ahead and see how it does just based on what we're bringing see if we need to lighten our load or if our loads good but I just wanted to be safe the high elevation is a little bit trickier for us because we're East Coast people and so we're between eight and ten thousand foot elevation where we're going to be at i just want to make sure that we're not going to be pushing ourselves too hard join along with us i'm going to show you on the map this loop we will go check it out it should take us about three and a half hours So we are at Molly Hugger Hill and we will go all the way down Soft Tooth, make our way all the way across. And this is Foxton Cove. This is where we put in for Long Leaf Loop. And then we'll come back around here, go all the way back up, and we'll mention out all these different campsites. Some of them have water, some of them don't, and then come back around and we'll be at the trailhead where we first uh, parked at and it's right at 7.8 miles it's the big poplar loop. Alright so today we're at the Molly Hugger Hill parking and we're doing the big poplar loop which you see is 7.8 miles. We're gonna do it we usually start from the I think it's the Foxton Cove parking lot and this time we're starting here but we're just gonna go ahead and do it clockwise today. You can do it counterclockwise also kind of prefer the clockwise way. Once you cross the street from the parking lot you'll take the sawtooth trail and this trail is actually to the grindstone which we did in another video. This is the, the only part of the actual not part of the Pine Mountain Trail you'll go on but we'll take it right here. <laughs> So we're a little bit over halfway a mile in. Um, as you can tell so far, it's pretty foggy. This summer is actually a lot milder than a usual summer for Georgia. This August, usually it's the mid 90s most of the month, but the last two weeks it hasn't gotten out of the mid 80s, which is a little weird, but we're not complaining. But definitely humidity is still pretty high this morning, but it's still cool out. But uh, we're just enjoying the terrain. This side is, as you start clockwise from Molly Hugger, this side kind of just is a steep uh, decline for the first mile or so until you get down to Grindstone campsite. All right, first mile, how was it? Uh, it was pretty easy. <laughs> you can tell there's a little bit of more weight on my back, so it's getting used to it. That nah, would be fine. We but it's a nice and cool day today, so that makes it yeah. easier. Definitely high humidity though. This is grindstone. I will link it in the top when we stayed here before back in the uh, spring when all this corona stuff started. But this is a great spot, got water access, pretty flat. You enjoyed it, didn't you, babe? Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, so it's a good spot. We recommend it. It's off the Pine Mountain Trail, but it's on the Sawtooth Trail, but it's still a good area to go to, and it's not that far of a hike from the parking lot. Check that video out if you want to know more about it. It's a good hike or a good camping spot. <laughs>
was worthy to note that right after grindstone it's where some true incline is as you went down from the start but now you start making your way back up but i know we're coming up on a cool waterfall soon so i look forward to seeing and showing that see almost two and a half miles in um, it is getting close to the waterfalls and we will take a look there it's a really pretty little spot where the water comes off a rock but it's going pretty smoothly the humidity's kind of lifted a little bit so it isn't so bad but we're still enjoying it um, packs aren't too bad typical weight for a backpack um, that I'm used to it's just we got we carried all our food actually with her also i just also so i just wanted to kind of get a vibe of what we were up against as far as weight for this trip because the elevation difference always seems to get us a little bit so we have to be careful of that <laughs> Usually when we do this, starting from the other direction, I'm already about six miles in, and this is a good spot to get your neck cool when it's the summertime, because by this point I'm pretty hot because it's already later in the day. But since we're doing it the opposite way this time, we are doing this a little bit earlier. We're only about two and a half miles in. You doing all right? Yep. <laughs> Ready to keep going? Yeah. Something to note when you're going through that area, make sure you got good tennis shoes that are not able to get really water saturated or good hiking boots because it's very wet down there and i do know on another part we're coming up on soon it's very wet also so be cautious of that if you're doing this loop made it to where we meet back up with the Pine Mountain Trail. We're gonna take a right right here and keep heading on the big popular loop. If you take a left, that'll kind of take you backwards on the Pine Mountain Trail. So far, it's been good. Just a little bit humid still, but it's getting better. The sun's coming out and moved out the fog, but we're still just enjoying it and uh, taking in this morning. There's a lot of incline on this side and there's a lot more incline to come. All right, we're at Fox Den Cove, coming up on the road. We'll cross over here and continue on the Pine Mountain Trail and go back up the other side to head back to where we're parked at. making our way on the other side now if you watch the long leaf loop video we did check that video out if you want to check that trail out you actually share this part of the trail together because will they will split off coming up and i'll show that part but this is first part is where you start the long leaf if you're starting from fox den cove right now we're close we're about three and a half miles and we can just continue on through this part of the trail all right so if you watch the other video this is where we split off and we go that way but today we will go that way and there's a sign right here if you want to make sure you go in the right way but that way is actually the long leaf loop if i can stand still yes. uh, and so that way we'll take you on another trail check that video out i'll make sure to link it in the description but we're going to continue on One of the 
biggest spiders we have ever seen. There's two huge nests or webs. And then we seen one and then the next one, we thought he was big and then the next one was twice as big. So that was pretty awesome, pretty wild. This is mile seven. This is the first mile marker on the Pine Mountain Trail we hit once we get back on the Pine Mountain Trail. So just keep that in mind as you're looking at the map that this is the marker for mile seven, the first one we hit. miles this is a more better part of the hike to me it's more prettier um, looks more of like a cool trail the other side's kind of more just dirt um, it's got a lot more rock although the little section I'm walking right now is a little bit more sandy but still enjoy this side more we're kind of on a flat area right now one small area that's flat but we'll be back in the rock in a second and some more incline and we'll hit some different campsites that are up here all right as i mentioned in when i was showing you the map this is the turtle hollow campsite you go down that trail there this is the main pine mountain trail both ways here and if you go down right there there's a uh, flat there for the turtle hollow campsite this is the first one in this area of the trail <laughs> Another one on the map we talked about. This is Big Knot Campsite. Go up there. This is the trail you come here. Go up there. There's a flat up there to have camp. And you're not far from water, honestly, at the Big Knot Campsite also. <laughs> This is the Jenkins Spring campsite, and yes, there is a creek near with plenty of water. Um, it comes right off the trail right here. This is the main Pine Mountain Trail here, but it's a nice little campsite right by a creek also. We're at five and a half miles. Sun has come up. It is very warm but uh, we're still enjoying it. A lot of rock on this side for sure. Uh, wears on your ankles a little more, but we're on an incline right now. I know we're about to get down into the creek bed, follow along the creek, but uh, still enjoying it. Um, I think there's one more campsite on this side. I think it's Beach Bottom, and we'll be near it soon. seen before this is one of our favorite bottoms you kind of run with this 
creek bed here and it's just it's so pretty vegetation and just everything looks so good through here just got to be careful though there's a lot of rocks to trip on so watch out for that but it's just an awesome spot on this part of the trail i love this part of the trail <laughs> Beach bottom, there's actually someone there camping now, but it crosses creek with a small bridge. It's an awesome area, one of my favorite spots. I uh, hope to do a video there soon. Alright, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get this last mile done. As you can see, we're about six and a half miles now. Really feeling the burn at this point with all these inclines and rock, but that's the joy in it. It's been a great morning. Hope this has really helped y'all see more of this part of the trail too and know this loop. And uh, we will see you at the truck. So one last thing, and the most important part of this loop where it gets its name from is this huge poplar tree. It's very large, the camera makes it actually look kind of small, but it's very big as you can almost walk inside of the trunk of it. So that's the big right, problem. We are back to the truck, it's very hot. I think I'm drenched in sweat. It's definitely a little tougher when you're carrying all your backpacking gear compared to when we do it for just a day hike. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't too bad, my back's a little sore, but I uh, just know I need to do a little bit more adjustment on my pack, but it should be in good shape. But that is the Big Poplar Loop. I hope for the ones that are watching just to see what the Big Poplar Loop's about. I hope I gave you all the highlights, one of our favorites to do. Yeah. Um, it's strenuous, <laughs> definitely uh, a lot of incline on it. Watch said it was right at eight miles, took right under four hours. We've done it in less than three and a half before, but we kind of went a little slower Slow with this with one. Slower with the backpacks, <laughs> we're kind of heavy. Yeah, so anyways, it was a good hike. Make sure to comment any questions you have about it, and anybody that's local, let us know if you're uh, checking this trail out too. We always like to hear what everybody else is doing around here for these trails. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Guys, we appreciate all the subscribers. Hope this is a good one, and we'll see you next week. Have a great day.